How many candles do you think are there? So this is Christmas. A weekend for strong. Get some water, please. Look at these crab nachos. What is so wrong? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be heading down Savannah Highway to Brook Green Gardens. But before we need to get breakfast, we need a small road trip and we need some time on the beach with Ellie. So come along and enjoy this trip to Polly's Island where we enjoy Christmas lights in the best way possible. This is the beach in Polly's Island. Uh, we arrived early in the morning. It was probably closer to noon and we wanted to spend some time on the beach with Ellie throwing the ball. The water was too cold so she didn't go swimming but we spent a couple of hours here walking and uh, just enjoying each other's company. Pauly's Island is located just before Myrtle Beach about an hour and 40 minutes from Charleston, South Carolina. Makes a great day trip to get out of the city. This area of coast is just uh, spectacular. It was really nice to just drive around and look at all the beautiful marsh grasses and docks, boats and things like that. Um, there's also really cool, this church was like really awesome. It looks like it was recently restored as well. And just before we went to the Night of a Thousand Candles, we got a bite to eat and Ellie was such a good girl hanging out with us. She didn't get into any trouble. But look at these nachos. They are absolutely amazing. This place had a little beer garden next door to it. It was called the Crab House, and this was the inlet beer garden next door, right on a marina. They even had Christmas lights. And it was just a really chill place to get a bite to eat before our event at nighttime. Pets were not allowed at the Night of a Thousand Candles, so we brought Ellie back to take a nap. Okay, we're here at Night of a Thousand Candles. This is our second year coming. And it's just breathtaking. Wow. There are probably more than a thousand candles, but um, we've just walked in. Oh, wow. It's a nice little fountain, pond. So many cool things here. Look at all of those. I think there's a way to zoom on this. Look at all those candles. This is like a reflecting pond. This was one of my favorite places last year. And it just looks so cool. It's like something out of a dream. All candles there. These are all, all hand lit before the event every night and replaced. They replace the candles that they need replacing. And uh, man, so cool. Right now we're on our way to go to the tree lighting ceremony. Uh, I didn't mention in the beginning, but Brook Green Gardens is a, it's kind of like a park with um, beautiful gardens during the day. Uh, they're located off of 17, just before you get to Myrtle Beach. And they do this every year, thousand candles and probably tens of thousands of sparkling lights. So we're gonna see the tree lighting ceremony We've got our sparkle and fun package. 
I've got the boring size, Amy's got the fun size, and uh, yeah, so see you at the tree lighting ceremony. are really nice too. Yeah. Looks really good. This camera just doesn't do it justice. Uh, going there and seeing it first person is uh, the way to go. This next spot is my favorite in the whole event. These are like the hanging light garden. I don't know, it's like a huge, yeah, see, it's beautiful. Wow. to the whole event. They attach these lights individually to the branches above and they just hang down. It's kind of like an optical illusion when you're standing there in person. It's like you're, it's like in heaven, really. It's so beautiful. Wow, these are pretty red and, red and white lights. So many. pretty. How many candles do you think are there? Hundred? Pretty. We also have some statues throughout the park. Like I said, in the morning, daytime, you can walk around to the sculpture gardens. But the, literally around every turn, it's so beautiful. How many 
handles do you think this is? There has to be 500 candles here. Also, we found the band. And I think there's also beer here, so we're gonna refill up here. Huge oak tree here. Wow, that thing is real old. They have some food trucks with burgers and tacos and things like that, fries. Then they also have a beer tent with wine, beer, Prosecco, and snacks. Very cool. Wine bottles. They also had different use of types of lighting. Here we had china balls, little circular spheres. Last year they were green, this year they're blue. Very pretty. Oh, careful. We were here last year and these were green and white. And then tonight they're blue and white. Pretty cool. Right, we're taking a break here. We're inside one of the central buildings and there's beautiful white poinsettias and also really cool string lights and some statues as well. And that's all cranberries. Right there is all cranberries. Can you see? Kind of reminds me of the Ocean Spray Cranberry at Epcot. Got some statues here. We got the Apollo and the Dogs. Here we have Toro Bruno, Toro Bravo. Pretty cool bull. And African elephant. Look at this dude running. This is what Ellie looks like when she's booking it down the beach. Look at the rib work there. Pretty cool. Oh, looks like a candle went out here. Cool apples. Wow, those are pretty. Right? Literally every single corner we turned, there was more candles. This uh, this part was really fun. We went through this like rainbow bridge type thing. Right, 
Each branch is individually wrapped. I don't have patience for that. It sure looks nice though. Well, we're just sitting here and it started snowing. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, I wish Ellie was here to see all the snow. Wow. It may be snow, but it's definitely snowing. So cool. So cool. Here comes some more snow. <laughs> so cool. Look at all these lights. So many. Main Street, USA, eat your heart out. Edition, and we're under the direction of Miss Scarlett Whittington. Yeah. And we have been here for 23 years. Don't we all look good? Yeah. <laughs> we would love for you to come sing with us, with us if you would like to come sing with us. This is so beautiful. Like, so beautiful. And there's nobody here. It's just us. Let's take a moment. They light the candles, well, they also unlight the candles so in the water and blows out the candles one by one. Wow, that's pretty impressive. have to be blown out yeah, and she says she makes a wish on every single candle so that's gonna do it for tonight we had a great time here at Brook Green Gardens night of a thousand candles hope you guys enjoyed it leave a comment below have you ever been here pretty impressive thanks for watching yeah. See you in the next one. Bye, dudes.